Hi guys, today I am going to teach you about support and movement in plant. So let's get started. Uh, so our first topic is support. Uh, support can be defined as it's the ability which keep organism in equilibrium, maintain its shape and help in locomotion. Uh, so uh, in plant support is provided by plant tissues. Uh, example non-living hard dead cells that is sclerenchyma living slightly thick wall colenchyma intergid parenchyma in a soft part so uh, we, uh, we will get started with our plant tissue so there are three type of plant tissue that is uh, plant tissues So, we have three types of plant tissue that is parenchymatous tissue, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. So, parenchyma, these are permanent plant cells with thin primary cell wall but no secondary wall. These cells have a large central vacuole surrounded by a peripheral layer of cytoplasm. Now, I am going to show you the basic structure of the plant cell that is over here this is a plant cell so this area is xylem and this area is phloem and in between xylem and phloem there are pit, there is pith this is phloem this is xylem so this area from epidermis to xylem this area is called cortex or whole this area is called cortex and this is called epidermis and this is called endodermis and this is pericycle so so uh, pericycle endodermis and pith are collectively called as steel Now I am going to show you the structure of meristematic cell. This is cell membrane. This is middle lamella. So this is the structure of meristematic cell. Now I'm going to draw the structure of parenchymatous tissue which is over here I'm just drawing roughly 
this is the middle lamella which I am drawing so this is cell membrane this is middle lamella and this is primary wall so this is the structure of parenchyma tissue so basically parenchymatous tissues have no secondary cell wall and these are present in a soft parts of the plant body and they provide support to plant because of their hydrostatic pressure or which hydrostatic pressure can also be called as a turgor pressure which is, uh, which is exerted by the cytoplasm uh, towards the cell membrane so this is called a turgor pressure now I am drawing the structure of colon chyma tissue which is like the rectangular box like structure This is primary wall. This is secondary wall. And this is cell membrane. And, and the structure is colon karma tissue. So the basic is, uh, features of colon chyma tissue is it is a plant cell having irregular thick secondary wall. This is the irregular thick secondary wall. It provides support to plant by its turgor pressure or slightly thick cell wall. So because of this uh, secondary, uh, secondary cell wall, it provides uh, support to the plant and uh, through its turgor pressure it also uh, provides support to the plant now i'm going to draw the structure of sclerenchymatous tissue So this is the structure of sclerenchymatous tissue. It is also called as a dead plant tissue. And this is the primary wall. This is secondary wall. And this is cell membrane which is going to vanish. So moving to sclerenchyma tissue, this is the diagram of the sclerenchyma tissue um, and it is the plant cell having slightly thick secondary cell wall. This is the thickened part of the secondary cell wall and it is also called dead cell uh, and has a cell wall become so thick that it occupy all area of cytoplasm. So we are seeing over here that its secondary wall becomes so thick that almost all the cytoplasm is vanished. So uh, basically because cytoplasm is vanished that's why we call this sclerenchymatous cell as a dead cells.
and they provide support to the bark and stem of the plant and tree now i'm going to um, draw uh, the characteristic feature of the permanent plant tissue which is over here it is of two uh, it is of two types divided into two types on the feature of the uh, structures and functions structure is then divided into two that is simple and complex and functionally it is divided into epidermis epidermal epidermal and supporting conducting and ground Um, permanent plant cell structurally uh, simple they contain parenchyma colenchyma and sclerenchyma which we have already discussed over there Parenchyma, colenchyma, and sclerenchyma are the simple permanent plant tissue, and the complex one are xylem and phloem. So, now we are going to discuss about xylem and phloem. So. Xylem. Xylem is divided into four different parts. 